Hello, this is week five video log going over cosmopolitanism and Kali Kalish Siddharthi's TED Talk. So first off, I wanted to talk about chapter one. Um, chapter one really discusses um, the life of Sir Richard Francis Burton. Um, he was a Victorian adventurer and um, extraordinary linguist. Um, I think they quoted him as learning 32 languages, which is pretty crazy. Um, but really the book talks about, or the chapter talks about him traveling across different parts of the world and learning new cultures and traditions. Um, I think one of the cool things about that was that he picked up many different religions and that he could see the value in each. Um, uh, he was also noted for translating old works into English. Um, because he was such a great linguist. Um, so one of the key opponents of this um, chapter that I wanted to talk about was the fact that Burton had no strong sense of national or local identity. Um, I think that really ties into the ideal cosmopolitanist um, just because they're not really identifying as a nationality but as a human as a whole as a human race. Um, and then they they also talk about two strands of cosmopolitanism I wanted to um, bring up. The second, which is the first one that he brings up, is the recognition that human beings are different and that we can all learn from each other's differences. And I think that really ties into what he talks about later on in the chapter when he says, what's morally appropriate for me to do from my point of view is different from what's morally appropriate for you for your point of view. Um, and um, you can also tie that into chapter four when um, if, if you argue cosmopolitist ideas, then you must be prepared for some disagreements between societies and, and individuals um, because these arguments are going to occur. They're inevitable almost. Um, I think one of the examples that they use is the abortion and how some people think that abortion in certain s circumstances is okay, um, whereas others might see it as completely wrong. Um, and that also ties into the fact that um, when it comes to morality, there's no singular truth. Um, there's no set definition that you can say what's morally right or what's morally wrong. It's all subjective and um, human interpretation. Um, and as far as the TED talk, um, he talked about how when you're angry, most of the times that, you know, anger was always avoided. But he used uh, a great example of how he used anger to benefit. Um, he said that some of the, his best ideas have come out of anger. Um, uh, and I think a great example is in the case of Siddharthi, um, anger led him to reject notions of the caste system. Um, he was then punished by uh, break for breaking the caste laws and was ordered to walk 600 miles to take a bath in the Ganges River for some cleansing. And he rejected that. He dropped his caste name and adopted Siddharthi, which means seeker of truth. Um, I thought that was really powerful. Um, for him talking about how the noblemen were waiting in his courtyard when he arrived home after the dinner. And, um, you know, his whole family was there for his shaming. I don't know. I, I feel like it must have took a lot of anger to go through that, um, especially if you don't have to. So, well, this concludes week five video log. I'll see you in class.